Once you're ready to proceed with your folio, you can build your staff. In this video, we'll learn about building a staff and defining their wage, dates of work, and allocation. To build your staff, you first need to go into the folio you'd like to plan your staff for, and then go to the Staff tab. First, let's learn about building a staff. There are a few different ways you can do this. The first option is to import staff members individually. You can even add members that aren't JIRA users if you need to. Or, if work is going to be executed by a staff that you have already defined for another existing folio, you can easily import the staff from that folio to the new one. If necessary, you can delete or add staff members or modify their wages and allocations. In order to do this, you simply select the folio from which you want to import your staff. If you already have the staff defined within Tempo Teams, you can simply click Add a Tempo Team and choose which predefined team you wish to use. All of the members and wages associated with that team will automatically be associated with your folio. Alternatively, you can import staff members through a CSV file. Tempo Budget's documentation pages include details on CSV importing. As an example, let's go ahead and add a staff member individually. You will need to be in the Staff tab of the folio. You can click the Add Staff Member button, or you can click the single person icon at the top. Once you've clicked on one of these buttons, you'll see the Add Staff Member dialog. Start typing the name of the member you'd like to add, and suggestions will automatically come up. You can then choose their role, add an overtime rule if you like, a weekly schedule, and a holiday scheme. You can then choose the time period they will work on this folio and add how much time will be allocated to them for this folio. Once you've created your staff, you always have the option to update the members or add wages and modify their allocations or edit any other staff member information you've entered. You can also plan for future hires by adding an unassigned user and update their information when the position is filled. In this video, we learned about building a staff and defining their wage, dates of work, and allocation. Thanks for watching.